One does not simply cook a chuck roast. Well, unless you're this guy. You don't have teeth made of solid steel? Well, stay tuned. Comfort food classic. If done right, it can feel like a warm hug from mommy. But if done wrong, it can feel like painful abuse from daddy. I I'm sorry, where were we? Oh yeah, the pot roast. Now, let's get to cooking before I unrepress another childhood memory. The perfect meat for pot roast is chuck. Aim for around two pounds. Two and a half if you're really hungry. First, let's sprinkle our meat with pepper and salt. Next step, sear our meat. Now, let's set the Burner to high heat. Put about a couple teaspoons of oil in here. Let it heat up. Oh, this will also create a bit of smoke, so best turn on the hood. Let your meat cook for two minutes on each side. Once our meat is done searing, our next step is to cook it in a slow cooker. If you don't have one, I'll put links in the description where you can buy one. Now, before we put the meat in, we gotta put a few things in here first. Some carrots. One onion cut in quarters. It actually helps if you break them up. And a few celery sticks. Mix it all up. Stay in there! Now, we can put the meat inside. And now for the liquid portion. What are our liquids? Simple. One can of diced tomatoes. One can of beef broth. And for our final liquid, water. Just take the tomato can and fill it up halfway with water. And add it to the pot. Give everything a good mix. Finally, rosemary and some thyme. Put the lid on. And let's set it on high for five and a half hours. Six if you're not in a hurry. And here is what it looks like six hours later. Let's give it a little pull test, see if it's done. Ooh, it is. Nice. Low and slow, that is the tempo for pot roast. You know, it's often said that art can't be rushed. What's like pot roast? Because if you do, you end up with one miserable mess on your hands. This has been Jay Stutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. <laughs>